today's episode of What is Wrong with My Car. This time, we are tackling a very, very fun mission. We somewhere, somewhere in this area, this department, we've developed another fuel leak. Where it's coming from exactly, I have no idea. Oh, of course these are 12s. I have no idea. So we will be diving in and figuring it out together because I have no idea what's going on with this fucking thing. All I know is when I start the car, there is a smell of fuel. And last time that happened, it was somewhere in this area. I'm guessing maybe a clamp came loose, maybe a hose slid loose somewhere because when the car gets warm, it goes away. So there's a chance that there's a slight tear somewhere or a clamp's loose. So I'm going to figure it out right now. Well, the good news is I think I found my leak. See this clamp? If I can get that, is that clamp? This clamp right here my fingers at? Oh yeah, it's just spinning freely. The bad news is, well so far there isn't any bad news, so let's just go with it. Now for the fun part. Let's see how much I have to fight this inlet to get it back on. You're just gonna go like, like half-ass coverage kind. So look, you don't care about this, you said, right? No. Probably places. So okay. so, so. You're, we're probably just gonna like half-ass spray like this. You tell you can see the white, but it's not. I'm not spraying hella heavy. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like a light coat for the first coat. That's not so good. Let's 
Now, in case you're wondering why I just went from this access port to my regular access port is because let me show actually let me show you. So you saw when I installed the access port, I what map I installed, change ECU map. I had to, oh shit, I don't want to change ECU map. Let me just show this. Show current map. How to go upstairs and copy this one over. As you can see, stage two ACN ninety one. Version three hundred. If you're on a access port, you know, temporary map like I am right now to my ProSoon then you would know access port is on v400 right so since cob got super strict with the emission stuff as you know well in case you don't know they stopped selling their flex fuel kit in general because of emissions epa bullshit stuff um they also decided to remove their stage two map from their website and i had a copy of it on my old computer a long time ago which i no longer have i had a copy of swave's stage two map acn 91 when he bought his sti 07 sti if you haven't seen that video go watch that video back in august or something Obviously, that's an 07. I'm an 05. Top feed, side feed, does not work. But let me, you know, I have another access port. No, I did not buy this access port. This access port belongs to Yef. Who doesn't remember Yef? OG, OG fucking co creator on this channel. You know, if you've been watching for a long time, you know who Yef is. He had the map I needed on his access port. So, what I had to do was borrow his uninstall it uh copy the map uh, reinstall it on, uninstall from his car install it on my car so i got the 05 map copied it over my computer uninstall his access port reinstall my access port copy the map over from my computer to my access port reinstall it so now i'm back on a state a safe map and you might be wondering why i'm on a stage two map i've got a lot to explain right now and i'll tell you what's up ta-da and ta-da you can't really see it on there sorry because it's dark but I recorded all this installation, you know, this. You saw me put this thing back on. I added this, and I added this, of course, carb legal stuff. You know, I want to be carb legal. My intake scoop, obviously, same thing there. Downpipe, nah, I'm not gonna say anything about downpipe stuff, but yeah, you see the downpipe there. So, I had added this stuff, yes. Oh, I'm on, I have my airport on because I was on Discord, still on Discord, just to have myself deafened. I installed that, the intake, post mafos and then i lost the footage i think my dumbass deleted it downpipe i didn't record because you've seen me do a downpipe i was just gonna talk about it and show them side by side lost that too <sighs> but i'm like you know what it is what it is that's why this video is all over the place because i lost footage so i'm using old footage that i never used and yeah oh another thing you saw me cleaning the gymkhana saw me cleaning the gymkhana because this that's not a gymkhana can you see that? Oh, it gets dark. Anyways, uh, it's a cob. You can see the cob letter. Oh. So I'm also no longer on the Gymkhana. Gymkhana is gone. I'm on a cob cat back. I traded me and Swave traded exhaust. Funny enough, because I wanted something quieter. He wanted something louder. He got that Gymkhana from me, traded it to someone for a Tomei, and I, I didn't want a Tomei. Someone offered me a Tomei. I didn't want it because it's too loud. Um, I wanted to quiet down a little bit, so I got the cop from Swave. He got the Gymkhana, traded it for the Tomei. And now, we also are not done yet. Got another part I'm going to show you guys. Ready? Whoa, what is that? Ooh, buddy. Whole stack full of pipes. Nice four inch thick core. That is going to be, of course, in there with the screw missing from here. I haven't replaced it yet. Yeah, lots been going on. Got one more. Well, technically, two or three more parts to show you, but I only have one upstairs. Well, let's go upstairs, and I will show you that final part. Actually, I also have more stuff in this envelope, but it's not really anything, like, too important. In that envelope is just, um, my oil cooler is leaking, so I got a new oil cooler gasket. I'm going to replace that tomorrow. Going to change the oil on the car tomorrow. I'm getting everything ready because, I mean, it's, it should be pretty obvious that we are getting pro-tuned on the SDI finally. But let me go show you the other mod and show you what else we got going on. Okay, do I even gotta say what this is? This is the last part to our build. Let me show you what's inside. You see the flow chart? You probably know what it is. Boom, boom. 
Yes, side feed injectors. Side feed injectors, and I will tell you why I'm seeing side feed right now. I don't think you're hearing me yelling right now. I just fucking screaming his head off. So, in case you haven't guessed, we are going E85. My room's a mess right now. Ignore the mess in the background. We are going full E85 on the SCI. Flex OK is the last thing I'm waiting for. That and the boost controller, and I'm pretty sure that's it. So I've just been gathering all these parts, and if you're asking me why I went front mount instead of top mount, well, I put a feeler post out on Facebook. I said looking for top mount or front mount. You know, trying to see what I can get for a good price. Got that front mount intercooler kit for about 300 bucks. Cannot pass, couldn't pass on it. I was like, okay, drove up an hour up north, picked it up, came back home. Like I said, I talked to my tuner. I'm getting tuned by Gary Baines, Baines Tuning. Um, asked me if he wanted me to go speed density. He's like, you're fine, man. If you're stock turbo, you're fine. I ran, in case you didn't know, I posted so many pictures of my old hatch before on this, on this channel. I was front mount on there. I was with a bigger turbo, FP Black, and I was speed density. In case you're wondering, I was speed density indeed. So stock turbo, said I'm okay. Don't need to go speed density, you'll be fine. So that's the reason I'm front mount. Like I said, I got it for like around 300 bucks. It's pretty hard to pass up on that shit, man. Pretty hard. The only thing I needed was a coolant overflow tank. But again, I had one already. I legit had one for my hatch because on my hatch, I didn't use it because what I did was I got my stock overflow tank moved it over to the you get on your stock radiators they have a little bar metal line that goes to your radiator to your coolant pipe what you can do in case if there are anyone out there has a hatch or a sedan or anything newer than a gd you could flip that bar around put your cool your coolant overflow on the other side mount it on the passenger side i just made a quick bracket mounted it there and you don't have to buy another overflow tank if you buy a used kit simple so i had that lying around Got that, I have not installed it yet because one, I need to get, it had a tile flange on it. I want to run the stock bypass valve. I have a bypass valve adapter, gonna get that welded onto the pipe tomorrow, as well as get my up pipe heat shield fix. We got a lot of things to do in the next video. Next video is gonna be installing the front mount. Probably, I'm waiting on the injectors. I already have a base map. My tune is next week, one week. Mm, no, a week and one day from this video going up, which is tomorrow, which is Tuesday is our tune date. April 6th is the day we are getting tuned. Went up to San Jose, Speed Element, Gary Baines tune, Baines tuning, car's gonna be on the dyno. Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. Like I, my car has 114,000 miles. Well taken care of though. Compression check, done a compression test when I bought the car. Up equal across all four cylinders, over 120 PSI in all four cylinders. I forgot the exact number, I just know it was above 120. Um, but it had good compression and it was tested and it was cold. So testing at 120 PSI or above at cold means it's gonna be a lot more when it's warm because you're supposed to compression test warm. But the previous owner didn't do it warm. It, it is what he took at the shop and they let it cool down and then they did it. But it's fine. I My engine should be healthy. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Like I said, I know this video is all over the place, but my dumb ass deleted footage. I'm rambling on again, like I, I told you on the last video. I, this is what I do, I ramble on the whole time. And my, my camera's not on the tripod right now because I have to put it back here. I don't want to put it up here because I have to unscrew it and screw it on and blah, 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 sorry. But that's it. Next video, we're getting the front mount installed. We're getting my up pipe heat shield fixed as well as the flange welded onto the up pipe. And we'll see what else we throw in there. Who knows, I'm always up to something. You guys know, even when I'm not uploading, I'm always up to something. I'm sorry. I, the real reason I haven't been uploading consistently is because Need for Speed and Forza have taken over my life. I've been no lifing on those games, but I'm I'm still here. I promise you, I'm still here. Oh, I have clips from a 22B that was in my city, a real 22B that'll be in the next video for sure before the intercooler install. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys in the next video. A couple days, I hope by the end of the week I'll have it out. Goodbye. The earth I pull, full of thoughts, the point of paper, take and make and play my cards, the deck that was full of faces, I just got a late in time, what am I game, won't play the time, poker face, be honest, smile, cause I know I can't accomplish anything, I need to take this game by storm, I'm grinding like the haters teeth will be, but we'll just wait and see, if we can split this.